Halima says, if somebody has passed away and you go to, pr to pay your condolences, they offer you food that was sent to them from neighbors or other extended family members or friends. Should we eat or refrain from eating? The issue is not should we eat or refrain. The food is halal by itself. So the neighbors send to the family of the deceased food, biryani, curry, rice, whatever. The food itself is halal. The issue is, can we sit and eat or not? Sitting and eating, again, is halal, generally speaking. But in the hadith of Jarir ibn Abdullah al-Bajali, may Allah be pleased with him, he is a companion. He said that we, meaning the companions of the Prophet ﷺ, used to consider gathering for mourning and the preparation of food to the gathering, part of wailing. Wailing is a major sin. When you start screaming and shouting and slapping your face and touring, uh, tearing your clothes and saying, oh my disease, oh my this, and you wail, this is a major sin. So the companions used to consider gathering for the morning as an innovation. So when someone dies, we don't give our condolences. No, give your condolences, but don't gather. Where I come from, they allocate between Maghrib and Isha the time for accepting condolences. So outside of the house of deceased, they block the roads so no cars can come in or go out. And they put lights so the whole street is lit with light bulbs. And they put chairs in an organized fashion. And they put a row in front of that for the family of the deceased to sit. And those who want to, to give their condolences come between Maghrib and Isha, sit. Usually they give them coffee and tea. It's in the open. And some of them go the extra mile. And they hire a qari who they pay money. And the guy sits on his bench and recites parts of the Quran with a microphone. Those who cannot afford it, they bring a cassette player or a DVD player, and they play the Quran. And every, like, five to ten minutes, there are intervals where they stop the Quran or the Qari stops. Those sitting stand up and go and give their condolences. Allah ajrak. May Allah forgive the sins of your deceased one by one. And they leave. This is an innovation by itself because this is a gathering. Usually, the family of the deceased says, listen, listen, don't go. After Isha, we will put food and sheep and rice and we will eat dinner together. This is part of wailing, which is not permissible. So what is permissible, Sheikh? What is permissible in giving your condolences for men is that when you see them in the masjid, when you see them at work, when you see them in shops or in the market or in the streets, you give them their, your condolences. If they're close, you visit them. Not during this time, rather after Asr or after Isha. And you give your condolences and leave. Maybe sit five minutes, four minutes, depending on the environment in their houses as a normal guest, but not in such gatherings that are dedicated to mourning and to giving condolences. 
This is what is yani, uh, a part of the sunnah and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.